Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to Neil and Jam Resellers. Hello. And it's uh, Saturday morning. It's yeah, July. 2nd of July. 2nd of July. We've just been to. Oh, that's me knocking the table today. Uh, I've just been to Faygate Car Boot Sale. Yeah. Um, again, thanks to Billy and the team. They always do a great job there. Love that boot sale. Um, and we picked up some stuff. Um, well, not a great deal today. No, but, but I'm really quality. happy with what I picked up. Really yeah, what happy. we got is good stuff. So, um, so Hello, I didn't have that much Hello. funds for this weekend. <laughs> and um, basically only had 30 quid for the whole weekend. And I've spent 25 of it this morning. Um, but I don't see that as a problem. So, Jan, do you want to start off with, with one of yours? Um, well, my first one is... <laughs> what could be termed as the bargain of the day. I just picked this up to have a look at it. And as I was reading the bottom of it, it's um, fine porcelain as opposed to bone china. But as I'm looking at it, uh, I can't remember if it was lady or man, but whoever it was said 10p. And I am such a sucker. If it's in my hand and they say a price that's low enough, Temper, I'll buy yeah. it whether I was going to or not. And it's butterflies. I mean, butterflies it's, are pretty it's good. It's pretty enough. It's butterflies. Yeah. Okay, I'll so find a home for it somewhere. To, uh, but I just think, you know, it was early morning. It wasn't as, it wasn't quite as warm as it looked as though it was going to be. No, I it? thought it was going to be a little bit it warmer. It warmed up later on, but I thought these people have got out of bed first thing in the morning, you know, and they've got to make their, I think it's eight pounds for a car yeah, there. I think so. You know, they've got to make their eight pounds before they're in profit. So I thought, well, yeah, 10p, let's do it. So well, I did. Yeah, excellent. Right. If you're going to co-present, you have to do it nicely, okay? And she's showing you what's left of Reckless's last toy. Yes. Anyway, so, well, I picked up, um, I went to, my first pickup was all that one stall, and it was uh, for, go on, I forget, okay. Good girl. Um, picked up four cameras. He had a little box of cameras, and, um, so this is all at the first table. So the first one, um, this is well, it's boxed. Uh, how do you pronounce that? V Vivitar. A Vivitar. Never heard of Vivitar. Um, but it is a boxed camera. It's um, still wrapped, as you can see. <laughs> I was going to say, has it got an expiry date on the box? So we know how old it is. Uh, no, they don't put expiry dates. No, on boxes, not on cameras. Um, but it's a it's a thirty five millimeter film camera, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's not a bad little camera. I mean, it's not the greatest of quality, but they do still sell for about fifteen quid. I paid a pound. I paid a pound for each of these, um, so really happy with that. And it's got another out of the wrapper strap. I think it's all pretty much not used. So, yeah. uh, so anyway, so yeah, I've had a look on the completeds, and they do sell for fifteen quid. So, uh, so yeah, that's a, a nice little, nice little start to. Uh, I can even get that in there. To the weekend. Nice little start to the weekend. Um, so that's the first one. Um, now, then we have the next little one. This is just a Kodak. Um, it's an Advantex uh, F300. Again, these sell for about 10 quid, 10 quid, 12 quid, something like that. Is that the drop in film That's that the drop itself? Oh, it is, but amazing. it's this is the one that ha uh, will... I don't know why Alexa suddenly sparked up just now. I then. don't know. I she don't just... even know what she said. I <laughs> I don't know. Bear's just having a chat with her, I think. This is the one that on the top you can switch between <coughs> panoramic or the square picture <coughs> or a normal photo. Bear, what's in there? So you've got the three different types. So it's that camera. It's that type of camera. Um, they're not that popular, but it's a case of, you know, it's okay. I mean, they still sit. If How much did you pay for that one? Pound. Yeah, so, so it doesn't matter if it sells for five, it does it. I mean, you if know, it's sell, well, it, it, it should sell for about 12 quid. So it's, you know, it's 10 times the amount that I paid for it. Um, the next one, I've never heard of this camera. This is a Bell & Howell. Howell? 
Howl Roll? Um, Bell and Howl. I'm suddenly thinking, is that anything to do with Packard Bell? Oh, it could be. You know, if that was an early days digital camera. Yeah. Well, this isn't the digital. This is film again. Mm. This is this is film. Even um, so, I'm wondering if it's um, Bell yeah. from Packard Bell. Bell from Packard Bell. Um, so, anyway, it's a nice little camera. Um, I've seen these completed online for 32 quid. So, again, from a pound, I'm really happy with that. Now, next one is in a Canon case. Is it a Canon camera? It is a Canon camera. Now, it's not one that I've heard of before. Multi tele? Multi tele, yeah. Is that a multi tele photo or something? Canon lens, 35 to 50 millimeters. Well, I don't know. It's got a nice weight to it, it's got a good solid Canon feel to it. Yeah. Sure shot multi tele, so. So I, I hadn't actually seen one of these before, but guys, this is one to look out for. Okay, here it is. Is it a bolo? It's a bolo. Um, and the reason why is I, I had a look at completed and I've seen some of these go for over a hundred quid. Um, so for a pound to over a hundred quid, really happy. So uh, yeah, that is one to that is one to look out for. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I mean I don't know if I'll get that for it, but I'll certainly try. Uh, but yeah, the fact that they go for over a hundred, that's definitely uh, what one to look out for. So anyway, that's my uh, that was the first table that I bought from, um, and it was all in one go. What do you got, Jack? And next, um, I think it might have been a charity store, but I didn't see any signs saying right. we're collecting money for any okay. for anything. But I saw this hanging over um, some sort of stand that they had there. Yeah. And saw the Cathed mark on it. I wasn't really over interested because I've got quite a few cat kids in my inventory that I'm not yeah. haven't even got listed at the moment. So, but I picked it up, had a quick nose inside as you do. Found that it's got a bag inside, new with still tags. tags. Yeah. So suddenly my interest is perking. So I said to the chap, "How much is your bag?" He said, mm, "Pound." Yeah, that will oh. do. And it doesn't look or feel as though it's ever been used yeah i think this was an unwanted gift that somebody's donated not mm. even realizing themselves what it would have cost originally well, knowing about these are about 60 quid about on today's website quid. wow yeah then they... knowing about kafkits and as a brand and i have picked up a couple myself just because I, i've heard of the brand because of jam picking them up and um but i would never have um because it's not the shiny, it then caskets are well, normally the shiny material. The oil aren't skin. They? The this oil one, skin. it's been made the other way around, so it's so the oh, shiny has, bit is on it? the inside. Right. So it means that if you've got um, wet beach Stop, things, be, be, anything it like that, it getting out. you know, keep keep Do you it want inside. To show that on the camera, because I had no idea that they and to know that I the, don't know if you can see it on camera, but. It's also machine washable. That can go in the washing machine at 30 degrees. So normally the, it has this shiny material kind of stuff um, that, as you say, is waterproof kind of thing. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's on the ordinary outside. ordinary material with yeah. a, 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 I think it's polyure polyurethane coating, yeah. which that one is, but it's been made the other way around. So, so, that it's, so the, fab, the, the but, dry fabric uh, yeah. as such is on the outside. Just let her out. But I wouldn't wouldn't have and wouldn't have recognised it. So I mean, it's glad that it's her, it's that kind of pattern, but it's it's the shininess. I just wouldn't have uh, yeah. wouldn't have recognised it. As I say, the handles don't show any sign of of use at all. The yeah. whole bag is slightly creased, but it's more creased as in I've thrown it in a cupboard with a load of stuff on top of it rather yeah. than creased because I've used it. Yeah. 
and so I thought well I've got a whole collection of mulberry bags but I haven't got any Cab Kitson and my overnight bag mm -hmm. that I used to keep in the car packed with in case I was rushed into hospital and yep. needed stuff that's a good size for that. um you left on the back seat and somebody oh, broke into broke my in car and, and stole my my bag <laughs> and uh, and the clothes my book in it. and a hairbrush and, yeah. and all sorts of old lady stuff. <laughs> I'm sure they were really happy with that. I think they were probably very disappointed. <laughs> but they had all my best pyjamas. <laughs> oh. But never mind. I don't wear them at home anyway. Well, my next item uh, was another camera. So um, did I say I'm keeping that one? Yeah. Yes, you did. I'm yes. keeping that one. Uh, my next camera uh, is a Fujifilm. This is a digital. Uh, this is a 9 megapixel and it is the Finepix um, A920 um, and it's got a nice big car screen. It also came with batteries and it actually turns on. Yeah, you have to turn it round if you want to show the lens. Well, I was showing the back of the screen that it oh, turns right, on okay. and the, uh, uh, the lens comes out and stuff. So. Yeah, it was already in working order and I was actually able to test it and turn it on uh, when I was in the field and um, and I bought that for three pounds. Um, I think these are looking at these, these sell for about 30 quid. Right. Um, so again, from three pounds to 30 quid, um, I'm uh, quite happy with that. Yeah. More to check. Right, next. Um... Another one where somebody was desperate for a sale and I picked up and looking and they're so 50p each and there were three bone china they are actually um Lesser and Pavey Limited and they're dated 2005 so I'm going to list these as very nearly vintage right pair and a spare pair and a spare yeah because <laughs> Yeah, but they get broken. That's what don't it they? Is. So if you've got a pair and a spare, because yeah. like you know, some people might have thought it came as a set of four and there's yeah. one broken, but no, I would say that's a yeah. set of two yeah. with a spare. With a spare. So very nearly vintage pair and a spare. Excellent. We love that pair and a spare. If anyone uses pair and a spare, you can credit it to Jan. <laughs> um, so, okay. Um, my next item. Do you want to move those that way a bit? I don't want to knock anything with my next item. Okay, so that's um. So. Now you can put some space. Camera tripod. Um, it was just on the table, um, and the guy asked. Uh, I said, "How much do you want for your your tripod?" And he said, "Well, how much do you want to pay?" And I said, "Well." About a fiver. I said, yeah, I'll do a fiver. Um, however, what I had noticed is that this is a Manfrotto. Uh, this is the brand name there, Manfrotto. Um, so this is a Manfrotto tripod. Manfrotto, if you don't know, are a really good brand of, of tripod. Um, this one actually um, has a, a clip bit on this so you can actually clip it out and it can go to some really bizarre kind of angles to how far you can set the legs out um, it's got quite a weight to it um, now looking at these Gosh, it has doesn't it? it has yeah. yeah I mean it's a really solid tripod you if you had yeah, you wouldn't want to be carrying that long distance would I you? wouldn't have if I had a had a a couple of thousand pounds camera to go on top i wouldn't have a problem yeah. putting it on this kind of tripod i mean it's a it's a good quality kind of tripod now these um looking at these um with these tripods quite often if when you buy them new they actually come just as the tripod bit this head bit actually comes separately as an optional extra as a, what you do with it without the well head, you can I'm have different sure. well you can have different, different types, types of heads, yeah so these are quick release um they've got um quick release bits to adjust um quite where what angle they're at and stuff like that um but having a look just on the solds on ebay these sell on ebay for uh about 70 to 80 quid 
and then the heads are an extra 25 um and i paid five pounds for the lot and i believe they're two or three hundred pounds brand new um i've what actually wanted this style for many years but could never really afford it um there was always other things to spend mm. spend the money on and um but to have one of these for five so this one won't be being resold at the moment this will go into our camera gear um stuff and um possibly for when we're filming these i'll now be filming on that and it should hopefully stop the dogs knocking the camera so much but anyway really happy picking that up oh and by the way this is there is a model to these this is the it's the 90 xb um sorry 190 xb uh just so you know what what the model is if you wanted to see what it was but yeah they're, they're a good one mm. what have you got Jan? Well, it's, I didn't buy much at all today, so this is my last one. And you may recognise this from, I think it was two weeks ago. I bought one of these, and I spotted this on the table today, and I thought, oh, I recognise her. As an, a Nao piece, Nao by Yadro. Picked her up, flicked onto the bottom, and the marking that is normally there isn't there, but I don't know if you can see the nail is engraved into the base, it stamped yeah, into stamped the base into rather it. than a colour stamp onto yeah. the base. And um, you might think, well, I think a lot of people would have possibly picked it up, not seen the coloured nail is normally brown um, and it has a boat sign, boat because nail means boat. And it normally says Nao by, by Yadro. Yeah. And although Nao are made in the, fa in the Yadro factory, they are the cheaper end of the range. They're not as good as the blue marked Yadro pieces. Yeah. But this particular one, as I say, doesn't have the coloured stamp on the bottom. It's stamped into it, which shows that it's actually an older piece. Yeah. But because I've got the one that I bought the other week, I've been able to compare the two together. And it's interesting that the um, the paintwork on this one is actually slightly better and slightly more refined than than the newer one. Yeah. But anyway, I saw it, asked how much, the lady said £8 and I thought, well, I paid £10 two weeks ago. But do I really want a second one the same? Will you take five? Yeah, she said. So five pounds. Good stuff. For Good stuff. I don't know if it's actually worth more because it's older. I think it should be it because, should be. like I say, the colours are slightly better. Uh, the the scarf on this one has tiny pattern. dotted pattern. Yeah. The scarf on the newer one is completely plain. But I say, no, I'm, it, I'm not an expert. It on... all comes, but it also also comes down to what the person who's buying it wants to pay, doesn't it? As I always say. Anything is only worth what the person buying it is prepared to pay for it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. But um, you know that that was it. I think what's um, that was five, six, seven fifty, seven pounds sixty today. Right. Not a lot, but that yeah. was all. That, I did see a pair of ladies' hunter wellies that I was satisfied were genuine. Yeah. But they were a size too big for me. Yeah. And she wanted 20 quid. And I thought, no. Then I saw another pair of genuine hunter wellies that were a child's size. They were on a one pound table, but they're probably not even worth that. They so, were well worn. Well, I showed them to I went, I went to have a look and... Um, when, it, when inspecting it, um, as you... Um, move the rubber around. The rubber had you really. You could see the rubber worn. had actually well, not worn, perished. perished. Yeah. Um, so and the soles were. I mean, that yeah. child must have lived in those wellies for yeah. several years by the well, look of the soles. Saying that, not hunter wellies, but I picked up some town and country wellies. Oh, you can smell them. Can you? Um, so these are these are town yeah, and very rubbery smell. Town and country wellies. There's the logo on the front. Um, now I paid three pounds for these. 
Um, and I would expect to get about £12 for these, probably. They're a size 10. Yeah, they are large, aren't they? But So, um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're anyway, still an expensive that. kind of welly. Yeah. Not quite as desirable as Hunter. Um, but for three thing... quid, they should still... They should still sell for about 12. Yeah. I reckon. Um, now I also I think, up... you know, the time for the hunters and those has just passed because they're very Glastonbury. Yeah. You, especially the coloured hunters, you know, because people want them to, yeah. to go to Glastonbury. But... So my next, next item, um, picked up some Gore-Tex boots. Um, mind my yeah, well, that's why I did tell you to move your stuff over a bit. I'm still saying mind it then, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so a pair of Gore Tex boots. Uh, I think I pay what did I pay for them? Uh, I think they were about three quid. Uh, yeah, I think they were about three pounds. Got a little mammoth on the back, yeah, it's a nice little. Before. I don't know, I don't really know the brand, it's not one I've particularly no. Can you read that on the bottom there? No. Uh, uh, Vibram. 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 Yeah, Vibram. Never heard of Vibram. No, nor have I, but I'm not. And then... Reiki? R-A-I... C-H-L-E. Racial? Or something footwear, or is it IE? Uh, no, it's an L. That's that one's an I, and then that one's an L. Right. But I mean, you can. But anyway, I'll look them up. Uh, yeah. But I'm hoping that they're going to be worth twenty-five to thirty quid, maybe. Um, so that's what I'm hoping on those. Um, last couple of items. Um, picked up some. Picks up some jeans. These are a pound each. Um, so this is um, Oasis Tiger, and these are um, these still have the labels on. Um, so you can see the label on the front there. Has it got a price? Label, label on the back. Um, not seeing it. Size 30 regular. But anyway, for a pound, um, for a pound that, that was a good pick up on that one. Um, and then there were these two as well. I'll pick these up for a pound as well. Um, we've got some, what's that? Oh, that's, they look cheap. That's Oasis jeans. It just looks like the fabric is really thin yeah it's not like a, a solid denim is it no but it's um but for a pound they should i sh would imagine get six quid out of them most you can normally get about six quid i don't really know the brand on this one either but it looked uh this one this pair looked uh looked an okay kind of pair mm -hmm. um yeah so three quid on jeans this week um it's all a case of uh, just picking them up, listing them, getting them on, see yeah. what see what goes. But yeah, I was quite happy with the um, with those three. And then we're down to my last item. Um, now I don't know how. Have to... you saved the best till last? I have saved the best till last. I thought you had. Um, so uh, there, I don't, I don't want to just knock your stuff flying. Well, as long as you stick on your side of the okay. table, we should be alright. So, there was this box here, okay? Um, I hope you One can of see these that, okay? One of these hard plastic... Big hard plastic boxes. Now, okay, go to the... It was that the box was actually open... Let's see if I can open it. There we go. The box was open and you could see that now the first thing i saw was the electric wires 
That's a clue. That's always a clue. And then when you take, let's take this out. I'll put it on the table. Oh, let's put it there. Is it very, very heavy? It is heavy. And there are these. Now, when people look at those, they don't really, uh, most people don't really know what to make of that. But if you open that up, you can see there is a little display. And this is actually um, electrical test equipment. Um, so it's for continuity and... Um, Insulation stroke continuity. Yeah. Um, and it's um, 16th edition. It says 16th edition, which is a wiring code uh, for a certain standard. Um, so, so, is it to test some sort it's of electrical to, It's equipment? to test house. Oh, house things. House testing and stuff like that for testing the house circuits and things like that. Um, now, the, what's that Lego like structure on the top? That is for the plug. Oh, right, okay. That's actually for that plug there to plug in. I've never in seen the, that kind of plug before. No, it's a multi. And then it's one. got things on the See, side. That will actually like plug into a house. That has a, ha that has a plug. Yeah. Um, but it looks like a strap or something. Yeah, there is a, there is a strap for you to actually wear it as you yeah. go around. There you go, there's your straps. Now, the thing that stood out to me, uh, because I didn't exactly know what it was at the time, and nor did the guy who had it, but the telltale sign for me was if you've got some kind of electrical stuff and it has this really big heavy really big heavy duty protective stuff tends to mean that it wasn't cheap yeah and that they don't want and i would imagine these are probably thousands of pounds when they were brand new and when you get the, these big heavy boxes for protection and all the foam and you see that there's a good chance that that is worth buying i didn't need to know exactly what it was um to know that it was worth some money um, or at least taking a gamble or at least taking a gamble so i paid five pounds for that um and uh, and the guy i was saying to he said do you know what it is i said no do you <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know he said i'll be was back it a house clearance guy i think he was yeah and i said I, I don't know uh i don't know what it is I'll, I'll be here next week if you find out what it is let me know um so but having a look at those um, so there is two of these. This this one is the um, what's that brand? Metro. Metro. It's a Metro, and it's an MI two one two three. And what's the other one? And the other they one, both look the same. They don't both they? And look the same. Clearly designed to be used together. But this one. Both in this one is an M, M, This one is an MI. Um, Two one twenty, and this was the this two one twenty. This is an RCD loop line, and, and that one's insulation and continuity. continuity. So they both so do two different things. Different functions. Yeah. But, but you clearly need one of each. You clearly need one of each. One has uh, has connections For like a that. Computer and or a printer. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. But anyway. Actually, so, they both do. So they're two different. They're, they're two different ones doing two different things. They both look. Now the thing is, I have seen somebody selling trying to sell one of these for ninety nine quid for the two. But on eBay, there's also these up for two hundred and forty odd quid each. So they, it could be worth anywhere between 100 to 450 quid's worth. Echo! Um, so I think that there's a good chance of making a profit. Uh, I'm really glad that I picked that up. And, and if you don't, then you lost five quid and you got a nice case. Exactly. Well, what I actually but thought I'm pretty of, sure, like you say, that I would imagine that I could sell the protective case for more than a fiver. Absolutely, yeah. Um, that's that's partially what I was thinking at the time. It's like if they don't work, the case is probably the worth money. Yeah. But... 
But the thing is, when you're reselling, sometimes you've just got to take a gamble and go with your gut instinct, I think. Well, absolutely. I mean, there was that vibration meter that I picked up. That sold for that sold for good money. Can't remember what it was now, it was, but it, I think it was over a hundred quid. Mm. Um, I didn't know what that was at the time. It was a little electric case full of stuff. Uh, now the guy also had next. Well, I was going to say I even picked up a damp meter for fifty p, and oh, I don't know the first thing about those sort of things, but I thought I'm sure that was selling it and went for about ten quid. Yeah. Well, the guy also had next to this was another container which had a flue gas analyzer in it. Ah, now yes. you know about those I being a I do qualified... know about those and the condition of it wasn't great looking. Right, and, I, and you don't know when it was last calibrated. Exactly, calibration and the flue gas analyzers actually require there is um, oxygen cells and there are different cells that get depleted that need replacing on a regular basis and you legally have to have them redone every certain amount and of time. you can't use it if it's not calibrated yeah so i decided that that one probably wasn't worth picking up yeah um i figured it would probably make a lot more hassle trying to get it sorted to be in any kind of condition to sell it would take too much and time i think most um gas engineers would rather go and buy a, a new one from yeah a place that they know that it's up to par and it's all as it should be rather than take a chance buying something second hand yeah i mean you would never have bought one no not for no second hand on ebay when you were no. a gas engineer would you no you wouldn't so um so yeah so i decided that that one that wasn't an item of that standard to uh, to buy at that point um but this being an electrical item um they don't really they, it's not like they have oxygen cells or they don't have replaceable cells as far as i'm aware of mm. um it's just like a multimeter it's just kind of it just reads resistances it should yeah. be okay it, they may still need calibrating um but this kind of equipment can cost thousands of pounds if if they're if they're kind of depending on what the model is of it and how how desirable that that brand is but um certainly for a five is certainly worth picking up so i'd be really well mm -hmm. really happy with that and that really uh helped my day so anyway so that's uh that's us really for today. That's us for today. Now, however, tomorrow is... is uh, and Flyover. Shore and Flyover. So... Unless we went to the one by the Ginger Fox, which is Poinings. But yeah. I like Shore and Flyover. And your mum had said, can she come with us? And yeah. she's down that way. She so is, yes. It looks like it's Shore and Flyover. Shore and Flyover. I've got five pounds left. We'll see what I can get. So you need your so mum with you. Look, <laughs> look forward to uh, look forward to seeing what we can get, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you especially know, especially if you know anything about his new yes, thing. Yes, yes. If you know anything about that, drop a comment down below. I'm really interested to hear about it, um, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.